Here is your latest African news. Mali. Thousands in Mali celebrate planned departure of French troops. Thousands of anti-French demonstrators poured into the streets of the Malian capital Bamako to celebrate the planned withdrawal of French troops from their country. Malians burnt a European flag as demonstrators carried placards with messages such as France is a terrorist nation amid simmering tensions between the West African country and its former colonist. Although France remains the only West African country with a significant military presence in the Sahel, its relationship with its former African colonies has grown increasingly tense in recent months. This has led to an evident increase in anti-French sentiment. Paris had declared that it would withdraw thousands of its troops from Mali due to a breakdown in relations with Mali. A decade after launching a war without the initial approval of the United Nations or the French Parliament, the decision applied to the 2,400 French troops in Mali, where France first deployed in 2013, and a European force of several hundred soldiers that was created in 2020. Benin Benin exhibits stolen treasures returned by France. Benin's president Patrice Talon inaugurated an exhibition of historic artworks returned by France last year, nearly 130 years after they were stolen by colonial forces. The 26 pieces, some considered sacred in Benin, will be displayed in a 2,000 square meter space in the presidential palace in Cotonou in a show entitled Benin Art Yesterday and Today. The return of artifacts by France comes as calls grow in Africa for Western countries to hand back stolen items from their museum and private collections. Britain, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Germany have all received requests from African countries to return lost treasures. The 26 pieces returned in November after two years of negotiation between Paris and Cotonou was stolen in 1892 by the French from Abomi, capital of former Adomi Kingdom located south of modern-day Benin. Ethiopia Ethiopia has started generating power from the mega dam. Ethiopia has begun generating electricity from its mega dam on the Blue Nile, a milestone in the controversial multi-billion dollar project. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed accompanied by high-ranking officials toured the power generation station and pressed a series of buttons on the electronic screen, a move that officials say is initiated production. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is said to be the largest hydroelectric scheme in Africa but has been at the center of a regional dispute ever since work first began in 2011. Ethiopia's downstream neighbors Egypt and Sudan, however, view it as a threat because of their colonial mindsets, while Addis Ababa deems it essential for its electrification and development of its country. Uganda Uganda to jail those killing endangered national birds Uganda has warned that anyone who kills the endangered crescent crane, the bird which is the country's national emblem, will face life in jail. The government has also said a hefty fine of $5.7 million will be imposed on those found guilty. The crescent crane is cherished in Uganda and is illustrated in their national flag. Uganda's Commissioner for Wildlife says the bird is now endangered because of destructions to its habitats. Among other factors, there are about 8,000 crescent cranes left in Uganda, down from about 35,000 in 1989 according to the ministry. Kenya Kenya to host Books and Arts Festival Kenya will host a four-day Books and Arts Festival as part of celebration of this year's World Book and Copyright Day. The inaugural Moto Books and Art Festival will be held between April 21st and 24th, 2022 in Nairobi. The event seeks to reignite interest in books, reading, and enhancing the impact of arts and literature in Kenya. The event will bring together local and international authors, publishers, illustrators, booksellers, artists, and brands who will showcase their work as well as share emerging literature trends. Nigeria Nigerian man begins manufacturing first African-owned self-driving pods. Nigerian-owned tech firm in Miami, Florida has begun manufacturing self-driving vehicles called Jego Pods. The firm will start releasing the pods in late 2022 and will be used to mobilize healthcare services. Jego Technologies Inc. founded by Frederick Akpogen, a Nigerian immigrant who started his career in tech as early as 16. Since he started his journey, he has built and partnered with hundreds of companies and startups including Abovav Technologies and Odidio Tribe Holdings. According to Akpoge, the the purpose of his company is to use mobile platforms to connect businesses and use on-demand services like flu testing, COVID testing, IV therapy, and other services which can be brought directly to customers using driverless Jego pods. 
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow, share and like our video. It's the best way of supporting us. Great news, you can now pre-order our children's book Maua and the Gardens of Plenty, a book that teaches children the power of great ideas. This book is the best way to start exposing your children to African stories told by Africans. Find the purchase link in the description below. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member, Patreon or donor. And remember, Africa is watching.